This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. Grant County is seeking residents to serve on the Fair Advisory Committee. A Washington man helped police by using his vote to chase down a suspect. An Oregon State University student says a masked stranger stabbed him and his roommates. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News. And it starts now. Grant County is seeking residents to serve on the Fair Advisory Committee. Grant County Commissioners announced they are seeking to fill one regular member position and an alternate position to serve three-year terms on the committee. The Fair Advisory Committee helps in preparation and running of the Grant County Fair and advises the Fair Director and County Commissioners on fair-related topics. Each member can serve a maximum of two terms. The county does not offer compensation for serving on the committee. County commissioners are looking for residents from the Quincy, Royal City, and Mattawa areas to fill the vacant positions. Applications are available online at grantcountywa.gov under the Request for Volunteers heading. For more information, contact Fairgrounds Director Mickey Webb at 509-765-3581. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. The second time I've been behind the wheel when this all happened. The last thing new Zodiac boat owner Kurt Bray expected when he and his family stopped for gas and ice cream here at the Des Moines Marina was to lead a white knuckle police boat chase. It all started when Des Moines police ordered the owner of this old yacht to give himself up after a woman on board was heard screaming for help. The guy was cutting his lines and pulling away from the dock and there was nothing the police could do really. People began snapping photos as the yacht sped away. One of the cops turned around and said to me, hey, you come over here and I said I looked around and I said me while Kurt's family was busy getting ice cream Kurt's boat was commandeered by an officer he just hopped in and said follow that boat and I said yes sir <laughs> and I gunned it out of the harbor as they raced toward the yacht Kurt noticed the officer had no life jacket so I handed him one of these and said hey let's at least look the part out there right the speeding yacht would not stop as soon as it saw us, it started doing these like S-curves and, and stop, slow down, and then speed up. And, and uh, the officer was, you know, he was cool and calm. It took 20 minutes for police in a second boat to catch up and finally end the chase. And they gunned it after him, and that was when my tour of duty was over. The damaged yacht returned to the marina. The woman on board was okay. The owner was arrested for outstanding felony warrants, and Kurt's family could hardly believe his story of a sudden adventure on the high seas. They didn't even bring me back an ice cream. That was the frustrating part. We heard a noise about 5.30 in the morning, started hearing some banging. Nolan Batuso says after that rude awakening, he and his roommates took action. One of my roommates started shouting, fire, fire, fire. I quickly grabbed my fire extinguisher that I had in my room. Nolan says they found flames near a back window and quickly put them out. Next thing we know, we hear a, uh, a scream for, come from upstairs. The cries for help coming from the room of the only woman living in the home. And so we start banging on her door to try to get in. That's when the uh, suspect steps out. Uh, he's holding, uh, I want to say, a standard kitchen knife. And he, uh, he punches me in the face, makes contact, uh, gets me with the kitchen knife. Uh, after I kind of stumble back, he goes after the other two roommates who were there. Nolan says the man had blonde hair and a white or blue bandana covering his face. He says he ran to his room to call 911 and came out to find the man was gone and everyone was hurt. One of her friends was there and he was severely injured, had a gash on his nose. And that was when we noticed the third roommate who was very, very injured. He had cuts on his uh, eye, on his head, and he was actually the, uh, the one who was flown to Portland earlier this morning. Police say the suspect was arrested at a nearby senior center and hospitalized as well. Officers are not releasing his name. Nolan says he doesn't know him. We don't know why. We still to this moment don't know why. From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slakey taking a look at the basin's forecast. 
for your Monday, upper 80s and clear skies. Clear skies all throughout the week. For Tuesday, low 90s, down to the 70s for Wednesday, but then back up near 80 for Thursday and Friday. The weekend is looking good, upper 80s, near 90. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiberOne.com or check us out on Facebook.